Hello, it's Northwest Trains. I'm Tom, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, Hornby Mag Light lighting unit system from Hornby. Um, these are gonna these are gonna go in my uh, Hornby Midland Pullman coaches. So I've done uh, a couple already. So just uh, show you now what it's like. You can't see very well because it's light here, so I'll just tilt it down. We will see them properly in the loft on the layout. Um, we'll do a little night scene with them once it's all done. Then to turn off, just put the magnet back over. So um, the actual lighting unit itself is easy enough to fit. It's just um, the only problem I had was with the couplers on the coach, which we'll probably see in a minute. Uh, one of the coaches was missing a spring and the other coach the spring actually came out as I was screwing the body back together. So um bit of a pain really. So there's the instruction leaflet that comes with the uh, lighting unit. If you want to take a look, you can pause it, have a look. Uh, and then got the actual unit itself here. So we have the lighting strip, the battery connector and the battery, as well as the magnets. Put that to one side, and then the coach we're going to use first now is this. So, um, so there's the battery housing there for the uh, obviously the battery unit where we feed the wires through. We'll have a look at that in a sec. It's got me a little uh, spacer tool here, so I hope we get the body off again without. Uh, Doing any damage. Okay, so again, I try and keep it so that uh, I don't turn the uh, body the wrong way around. Okay, so that was stage one, which basically three clips either side. So I just obviously use a little spacer bar, but you can use little bits of off cut of plastic I've used in the past just to wedge in. Um, okay, so number two. We've got four screws to take out, so basically we've got a screw there and here for the lighting board and then we've got a screw either side to take the seats out, which is the bit where the coupler starts uh, messing around, so hopefully it'll be alright on this one. It was alright in the first coach, so um, it might have just been a one-off. Again, just put my screws in a little plastic box here. There's two different screws on this, so to just keep them separate so I know which is which. So on the left hand side I know they're the first lot of screws I took out. So that's that off. It's quite a flimsy bit of plastic really. As long as, as, long as it doesn't sag too much it's alright. So just take our seating compartments out. Again, screws in the separate spots. not much to these coaches really they're very basic okay so that's that and then we've just got our coach unit so you see what I mean about the springs here uh, they actually fell out and as soon as you take the coach seats off it seems to hold these in place they just fly out everywhere so we'll worry about that in a minute so right now turn this upside down and let's take the battery housing out I guess well done last time because it's quite tight actually so I just uh, poke the tweezer through just to pop it out. Here we go. And then we've got our lighting unit. Just a case of uh, feeding it through a little rectangular hole here. Get all the way through. Gotta be careful of this board. So I'm sort of rushing it a little bit so the video doesn't go on too long. But uh, you get the idea. Okay, so before that goes in, you slot the battery in. Just gotta make sure the positive and negative are the right way around. So that should just feed through there now. And Thought I lost a spring in that coupler then. <laughs> just paranoid. Right, so that battery's in now. You've just got to push it down a little bit. 
and then this slots back on or should slot back in there we go and just try and feed that screw back into place without losing it like I say I've got to go fishing for two springs later on the floor which I'm not looking forward to and you can see how small they are now see right so coach back over now our seating unit we get these couplers right into place here try and sit them in position like that we uh, want the wires to go along the bottom now in fact I'll just uh, peel a bit of this black tack off the wheels have to go along this uh, little track here sorry the wires <laughs> wires have to go along this little track here and uh, well done the last one just because it got a bit fiddly I just stuck a bit of black tack into the groove here just to hold the wires down you can get them in yeah so it's not easy when you've got fat fingers <laughs> right see if we can spread them out a little bit and then just get another little piece so I hope you can see this i'm just sort of trying to get it right as well as trying to get it visible on the camera okay right so that's that i think our couplers are still in place really no one's come out of place just put that back in see see what i mean it's like the slightest bit of movement and there uh, they're off again right so this groove here now is what we slide the wires into so just focusing now on trying to screw this coach body back on now I can't do these up too tight because what I discovered was it sets the, the uh, couplers solid so just getting reasonably tight and then before the body goes on just check that uh, it's still working okay Obviously they need to be tight enough so they don't come out of place. So that's working there now. Okay. Now we've got the lighting board here. Just need to unscrew this screw here. And put that into place there now so that board just screws onto the lighting bar just uh, try and get this screw in place so again try and line that up in fact what I've done wrong last time just got to remember to feed these wires through so they're not tangled up here we go like that And hopefully get the screw in now without it falling off. Just about. Okay, right, so next step, just peel the tape off the back of the uh, lighting strip. Just uh, use my craft knife. And we just set the wires on there like that and just try and get it nice and straight on the board and there we go it was just a matter again of tilting it back over and put these two screws back in from before Okay, so number one here. And then 
the second screw over here. Right, now it's just a case now of uh, just tucking these wires under. So if it just gets a bit more black tack and uh, just see if I can just stick them in there somewhere like that. So not in the way. Okay, you probably be a bit neater than me, but so I'm just doing it quickly. Okay, we should be able to just pop this back on now. Just try and get one end in first. There you go, a little bit rough there, but never mind. Let's check the couplers are still working. Yep. Yeah. Now, let's see if it works. So where's our magic wand? There we go. So they're good because the positives are you got um, no flickering lights. The light will stay constant. The only downside is you got to change your battery every now and then. But to be honest, these batteries do last a long time. Um, I've not changed them yet in my four-wheel coaches. So like I say, as long as you remember to turn them off, you're all right. Anyway, I'm going to do the rest now. And uh, we'll get the uh, train on the layout and uh, we'll see how good it is in the dark. So, um, we'll be back in a sec. time to see how good these lights are so I'm just gonna uh, turn out the main light now in the loft and there you are not too bad I say quite often you find that they're too bright so the passengers would need sunglasses if they're actually in the coaches but that's not bad so um, we'll do a little running session now and uh, see what you think Okay, that's the end of that. Now, um, 
you might have noticed the couplings are a lot tighter now than they used to be so put the uh, magnetic couplers on I can definitely recommend them they're a hundred times better than the traditional couplings and uh, they look a bit more realistic than the hung couplings as well so uh, yeah I'll definitely be looking out for more of the homey ones in the future if they uh, bring them out again so just uh, as a little reminder don't forget to turn the lights out once you finish running like that otherwise you will be replacing batteries all the time so uh, let me know what you think um, the RRP for the coaches is 45 odd pounds and then the lights I think I got for about £14.50 but I've seen them go up to about £17 per pack so all in all you're talking 60 odd pound a coach with the lights so pricey I know isn't it but uh, I do like doing my 19s on the layout as you can see but anyway let me know what you think would you have them yourself or would you not and um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep an eye out for the next one it might be a running session or a layout update not too sure yet but keep an eye out either way and I'll uh, see you soon thanks for watching bye for now